ladies how are you spiritual barbie here welcome back to my channel um this is your daily reading for today all right so let's have a look at what message your spirit and your ancestors have for you today okay i feel drawn to this deck so we're gonna read from this deck give amber give it to god take a deep breath and and on the exhale release the situation to god for healing and answers okay so there's definitely something troubling a few of you guys right now in your life it, it could be a, just one particular trouble and situation that some of you guys find yourself in or you know you may feel like you are consistently in a troubling situation but you need to just let it go release it to God let God um, heal the situation in its own time or in his or her own time and just know that it will be worked out amber so give it to god and we also have watermelon tourmaline stress reduction de-stress your mind body and schedule as you need to rest recharge and revive so um that's pretty self-explanatory de-stress take time out for yourself don't stress so much about little things um try not to worry just de-stress all right you know don't overwhelm yourself it's not so much about not worrying as much as it's about, um, you know, de-stressing and, you know, not overloading, you know, not overwhelming yourself. Okay. Worry, that's a different thing. This is more about don't overload. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the cards we have coming so, I see the cycle here getting ready to end, okay? A phase in your life is complete, the world reverse. A phase in your life is complete, a phase that you have been living in for many years is coming to an end. Saturn is the ruler of the world, and the world, oh, I mean, and Saturn is the ruler of time as well. And so this definitely has been a long time coming. Um, you're completing a cycle. It's basically over, but there is something that you need to kind of let go of. Release, right? And what this releasing is, is is limiting is a limiting belief system. Or a limiting perception, a, li a limiting way of being. That ultimately stresses you out, right? But, you know, it's it needs to go with this old phase. Okay, so... This is pretty out in the open, you know, I, I, there's no other way I could spin this, right? Um, free yourself, you know? You're done, you're free, it's over, this is finished. This doesn't have to be the way that it is anymore. All you need to do is take off the blindfold and open up your options and, um, you know, not put up with something anymore is what I'm hearing. And what this has to do with is, it has to do with back and forth energy. So if you feel like you're going back and forth in a particular situation where it's like 10 steps forward, 5 steps back. You don't have to be in a situation like that anymore. You know, you don't have to do that to yourself either. You don't have to... Um, also, I'm seeing that someone is kind of not in a good situation. And, you know, it's like, okay, you don't need to stay in a conflict-ridden situation. You can free yourself, okay? So, this reading is very straightforward, you guys. There's a cycle that's over. There's a cycle that has completed itself. Um, whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not. Sorry, it's really dark because I had to close my blinds. But there's a cycle that has completed itself, and um, which is beautiful, but there's this energy of not moving on and this energy of kind of not necessarily going back and forth in a way that it's very obvious that you shouldn't be going back and forth in that way, but it's like going back and forth, um, even though it's something that you're done with. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. I don't know if you understand this reading, 
Because I really don't. I don't know what this is about. I don't know if this is around. I think that this is really a very general message. That's what I'm feeling off of this. Off of these cards and off of these messages today. I think it's very general. What they're trying to tell us. Okay. Alright. So, um, yeah. Five of Swords. So I think that there definitely was a lot of chaos. A lot of arguments. A lot of betrayal. A lot of anger. A lot of hurt feelings. A lot of back and forth. That sort of thing. And you are finally moving away from it. In whatever way you're moving away from it, everybody's situation is different. But um, it's no buts. It's just like, just try not to go back there. But it's also like when you feel yourself going back there, when you find yourself going back there, it's okay. It's not like you're trying to abuse yourself. It's kind of like change is not easy. You know, you're moving on. You're moving forward. But continue to self-reflect, okay? Because there are times when that strength within you will waver and you will feel like you can't handle it or you'll feel like you're gonna snap or what, dot 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 but you're not you're gonna get through it you're breaking out of a karmic cycle it's very karmic here eights are very karmic numbers okay and um yeah, you're breaking out of a loop that wasn't very healthy for you and you're moving on and so it definitely was very difficult what it is that you're freeing yourself from is extremely difficult, but you're free ultimately, and you're getting there. It's like a journey. It's something that you just have to kind of walk through. You're walking through it, and you just have to trust. Okay, so there were a lot of limiting belief systems where you were before that blocked healing, that prevented things from moving forward, that um, just made things very diseased. Okay, so cause a lot of disease or a disease. But when I say disease, I mean disease, right? And um, those limiting belief systems you're purging yourself of as you allow time to go through and as you allow time to kind of manifest and move through you. Okay, and I'm, I know what I, I know. I said allow time to move through you. That's what I meant. As you allow time to move through you then you will free yourself of that and you'll free yourself from limiting belief systems that will keep you, that keep you stuck. Okay. And we're finally closing off with this world energy reverse. There's no need to worry, but I feel like right now you don't understand that there's no need to worry because with the sun being reversed and the world being reversed, these are two of the happiest, most celebratory cards. And whether they're reversed or upright, there's still really great meanings and there's still really great connotations to these cards. It's so dark, you guys. It looks better, right? But even though these cards, when they're reversed or when they're upright, they have really good meanings, um, as I was saying. It's just your perception needs to change so that you can see it that way, and it gets it will change with time, is what they're saying. So you're not you're not gonna wake up one day and everything's you're gonna just see the world different. Experiences will happen. You'll see things. You'll think things, and then you'll go through that transformation, and you know it'll help you to come out of this phase okay so this is I think I'm done here right this was a pretty short reading that's all they have to say to you today take care and God bless